Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm demonstrating the revamped guided edit for replacing or removing a background. Um, this was first introduced in PSC 2018 and um, it had the four basic um, selection and refinement tools. It was revamped again in 2020 with the introduction of the select subject button. So in Photoshop Elements 2023, um, if we go to the guided edit, we will see under special edits, um, replace background has had some new uh, presets introduced. The select subject button is still available and that, that makes a pretty good job because it's powered by Adobe Sensei, which is the artificial intelligence and machine learning technology from Adobe. So it should work pretty well on this photo which I have open and um, it's got a pretty, pretty plain background so let's just click select subject and see what happens. And as you can see it's done a pretty good job um, of finding the subject as I expected. And we can now um, look at the, the new presets. Um, just drag this fully onto the screen so you can see it. Um, as you can see the um, we've, we've got some really nice abstract backgrounds which have um, replaced some of the um, previous ones. We've kept the beach and the Japanese garden and the, the sunset but these new pre presets I really like so you can just click through them one at a time and see you know which one suits your subject the best. I do really like these very much and just going through them one at a time. I think this, this is the one that I like best and I'm clicking OK and that will close the box. I don't really need to do anything extra to this um, to this image um, so I can I can now save it. So let's try another example. Um, this one's got a more complex background, fairly busy with the boats and the poles. Although you can see from the blurriness of the background that we do have some depth of field. So let's see how select subject works. One click on select subject and just wait for um, the magic to happen. And you can see it hasn't done such a good job with this, um, with this photo. Um, so I'm going to have to use the quick selection to, tool to add or subtract to the parts that have been missed. So let's just increase the size of the tool slightly with the um, bracket keys and we can add this to the selection and that's worked pretty much straight away. We need to bring in the remainder of the lamppost which has been missed. Just one click there. That's, the, that's got all that and there's complication here with the um, the costume so that needs to be all included in the um, in the selection one click there that's a small part um, I think it's a missed out the end of his fingers you can just see his white gloves just gently peering around the around the lamppost so we just click to include include that um, now because this is a fairly um, smooth costume and um, there's no kind of um, um, wisps of hair to worry about. I'm going to go to the menu select and choose modify contract and I find by contracting by just one pixel it sometimes gives a much um, a much smoother um, edge to the um, to the selection. So let's now go to the presets and um, I think I'm going to choose this green one here the the vertical lines and the green color coloration um, sort of complement the um, the lampos, and I think that works well. So I'm going to click OK and um, and save that. So this next example is more difficult. Um, selecting fur or hair is always much more complex. So let's see how the um, select subject button behaves. Also in this image, we have these plants in the uh, foreground which are in focus. The background is out of focus, so let's see how we get on. Click in select subject and waiting for the um, selection and there we have it and it's actually done a pretty good job. I mean part of the dog is below the um, below, below the plants anyway so um, I probably won't use 
that part of the, the image. But uh, this is possibly um, a subject where we can use the refine brush. So clicking on refine gives you an instant quick mask. Quick mask. And um, this tool allows us to push out to add to the selection or push in if we go too far. So let's, I'm going to just try pushing out just in small amounts along the top, of it, top edge of the ears. Just pushing out gently. I've gone too far there, so I'm going to push back in again. And the same there, a little bit of the yellow flower is being picked up. But generally we can do quite a good job with this. Just gently pushing and pulling the, um, the, the pixels. A little bit too far on that one. Push it back in again, and that's a little bit better. Push out on here, just gently around the edges in small bursts and the same along this left hand edge. It's giving the edge a, a, a little, little bit more of a natural um, natural feel to it on the um, the fur and again let me just push that one back in again because I'm picking up a little bit of the background not too bothered about tiny bits you'll see why in a minute okay so so now I'm, I finished refining the selection I'm going to click on the presets and I'm going to choose this one it's got some bits of um, yellow in the um, in the pattern so um, I'm going to click OK and then on this image select the move tool that allows us to move the subject around so I'm going to move him down and position him on this yellow part of the um, the background so that any pieces that I've picked up will blend in click on the hand tool just to remove the, the bounding box and I think that looks okay so I'm going to go now straight into expert mode and uh, do a couple more things first thing I want to do is flatten the layers so go to the layer panel flatten the image so we're just working on one one layer now and um, let's use the um, the dodge tool and set it to highlights and just see if I can brighten his eyes up with a few clicks of the don't overdo it I'm just clicking three or four times just to just to brighten those highlights in the eyes I think that has improved it maybe just stroke the highlights in his nose just to brighten that but I guess keep it fairly subtle don't um, don't overdo it that's fine I think yeah and um, maybe we can um, add some text to, um, to give him a name. So choose the, the text tool, colour. I'm going to um, set the colour chip by selecting this colour from the actual image and clicking OK. And that gets applied to the, the text tool. So let's just type a name here. And click the green check mark. When done, click on the hand tool to get rid of the bounding box. And that's finished, I think. That's um, what started off to be a complex um, selection um, gave me an opportunity to show you the refined selection brush with the quick mask. So that one's finished and um, I can now save. With this next photo, I just want to select the guy in the foreground. So um, may need to do some refinements. Anyway, we'll start off with the AI tool, select subject, and see how we go on. And yes, I mean, even though the guy behind it out of focus, it's still been included in the um, selection. So I'm going to go back to the quick selection tool and set it to subtract, make the brush a little bit bigger, and see if we can exclude this guy completely from the selection. And the subtractor has done a pretty good job. Um, you can see that the original selection has missed out some parts of his ear. So I'm just going to click to 
I include those and I'm going to undo that because it's gone too far and that's because I'm still on subtract so I need to change that to add and try again. So there we are, just add the ear lobe, a little bit of the edge there, just a tiny click and um, that's looking much better. I think this is a little bit of his arm down, down here. So hold down the old key to change to minus and yeah I think we've got everything there so um, I'm going to go now to um, solid color because I haven't shown you that yet you can choose um, a solid color maybe a nice color of blue from the um, that was similar to the um, sky in the um, in the background um, and you can also uh, choose um, no background i.e. transparency by clicking this one in the center and um, that will um, let you upload it to any website um, but you need to um, save it as PNG 24 which will preserve the transparency. So let's go into expert mode by clicking next in expert and um, I'm going to choose file save for web and in this dialog you can see I've selected PNG 24 from the um, from the pull down list and put a check mark in the box to save transparency. This is quite a large image so I'm actually going to, when I finish this processing, I'm going to change the um, size to make it suitable for the, um, the web. Something like 2000 on the width and the height will get changed automatically and we'll click save. And that will save the image as a as a PNG. That's it. We're done with that. So if you look at this page, uh, it has a very dark background, and you can see that um, that is showing through the transparency, so that we just see the cutout of the um, of the man himself, and um, that will reflect any page background, whether it's a solid color or an abstract background. In these demos I haven't used the um, tools at number four and number five. Um, the refine edge brush I find I don't need to use because the select subject using artificial intelligence works so well and the auto match color tone I find usually brightens the image too much but you can experiment with it yourself. Just give it one click and if you don't like what it does just press Control Z and Control Z to, um, to undo it. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope it's given you some inspiration to um, try with your own images and as usual thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.